By far and away, the most interesting stories I've heard from computer gamers are always the stories that they tell me about what they did in the game. What we're doing with like The Sims and Spore is more about letting the players fully own the characters because they created them. You start as a little cellular organism. You know, a blob with eyeballs stuck on it whose only need in the universe is to eat and eating makes them grow. The challenge is to evolve and you create your species at every stage of its evolution. Once you crawl out of that environment onto land is where Preacher Game picks up. Now you're in an entirely 3D space. You have this amazing editor basically allowing you to make anything you want. Depending on what you make, you can be faster or slower, you can be carnivorous, omnivorous, a very social creature or a very aggressive creature. Once you've succeeded evolving, you move to a tribal stage. In tribe, you stop controlling an individual creature and start dealing with the creature as a social group. You can recruit and socialize with other tribes or attack them. As you explore further and further away from your starting nest, you find more and more difficult creatures or more elaborate creatures to fight. Ultimately, you're trying to kind of become the most successful tribe, growing your population to the extent that it takes on a culture. Lots of the games let you destroy Spore and a lot of other Maxis games are really about allowing you to create. You'll be able to make creatures and buildings and vehicles that all represent whatever your personal taste is. In Tribe, you can recruit and socialize with other tribes or attack them. In Civilization, you can also try to culturally convert them or attack them militarily or have diplomatic relations with them. You end up controlling the whole planet. Once you do that, the next thing is space. It's the final frontier. You get your spaceship and now you have a whole galaxy in front of you. Your citizens develop the ability to create a spaceship and there you go, off into the cosmos. You can explore, you can colonize, you can become a trader. There's comets and there's just beautiful planets. There is a peacefulness to flying around a galaxy. So you've gone from being this little guy in a tide pool to now being this guy who can go be a galactic god. And within it all, you get to create your whole world.